Good morning, good morning, good morning. Shaved again. I think it does look better on camera. I have the weirdest relationship with my beard. Luckily, it grows pretty quick, so I um, get to perpetually live both lives as a lumberjack and as a, I don't know, whatever this is. Um, I used to quite often have quite a larger beard and it just doesn't um, I never seem to fully want to come in I always get to a point I'm like ah. it's like a weird there's a huge like psychological aspect to having a beard it's 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 strange I can tell you um, I can almost gauge what my optimism towards the future is by the fact whether I have a beard or not like if I start getting worried about the world the beard will get bigger <laughs> um, but I do like just yeah <coughs> hang back like this so within that you can probably glean that something's, something's moved um, I'm still I still feel really shit really like I think just the heat, I don't know, there's something, it's a combination, like I've had a real big, um, whatever, like a lot of things that have kind of crushed my uh, level of like security in the world within things that I thought were kind of untouchable. It's, it's been a ride and it has affected me massively um, and I'm starting to get a little like a little glimmer of, of something releasing and something moving and I'm like fuck it I'm just going to go do what I'm going to do um, there's a really clear thing in my head to not <clears throat> not change my course because of anyone which I think I've done a lot of which I'm not even complaining about but it's just kind of it just ends up like wasting time and um, so yeah I'm going to start getting ready to move to the city um, where I am I'm a bit over an hour north of Perth and I like it here but it just like it's just not working for for the world like for for what I want to do like I think I had this um, like uh, the majority of the reason I've maintained stuff online done a lot of things online which doesn't hasn't worked I've tried you know lots of different things bar doing the really like produce thing which I wanted to stay away from but there's just no I'm never going to do that I'm always going to do something that's a bit edgy uh, it's what it's what interests me it's what my personality is, is I'm, I'm always on the edge I want to try and push on that edge um, and so that just that just doesn't work there's no there isn't a like realistic, authentic feedback online as far as I'm concerned, whether that's cause, because of just certain controversial things or whether it's my personality, whatever it is, whether it's, I don't know, but even music stuff, it just doesn't do anything. I don't trust that space anymore. Um, it'll always be a part of it because yeah and so like the kind of ideal I had I was like well you know I do I do prefer it out where I can see the stars and where I can have some land around me and all this stuff and do things and so I had this optimistic view that I could do that and then still kind of do what I want to do with music or even now speaking it seems to be it's just something more and more increasing that I want to do but it just <clears throat> it just doesn't work. My children are too far away. It's too hard for them to get here. It's too much of a nightmare. Like 
all communication is broken down with their mother, so it's just like, it just doesn't work. Um, and I think as well what I've hit, funnily enough, for anyone thinking about moving out to the boondocks, it's like I've kind of hit the... Like, I've, done, I've built this thing, and I'm like, I don't really want this. I think part of it was, like, escaping. And then you get there, and you're like, why? Why is this? And I think it was... I've come to the conclusion that a lot of those things were, like... They were reflections of the life I needed to live. Like, I, di I wanted to raise my family in a way that was more connected to the to reality um, and now that's just ended up like they still have <clears throat> but it just kind of now like yeah it's got it's got to a point and it is like harming me like I'm just not um, yeah I'm wanting to immerse myself more in things like I just I want to just I want to change basically <laughs> I think that's all it is um, and I've just been playing around with like what that what level that change is going to be I've been watching this region Perth it's like I don't know fuck it still seems like a bit of a risk to me it still seems like what's going on here what's there's so much that hasn't been said so much that hasn't been resolved and but yeah i don't think it works in this environment so i'm gonna go just full on face it head on <clears throat> um yeah and just go be just go dive you know head first into that environment um, and start living a way that um, that suits me as opposed to the way I kind of have been forced to live to provide this thing that just in the end to provide this thing as a father and a head of a family it's like it just got it got disrespected and got ignored and got and, and literally got attacked um, and so, yeah, it just, it's now, it's like, okay, I, I tried, um, I'll do what you're all doing, and, um, yeah, <clears throat> it's, um, it's interesting, what, Oh, I was gonna. I'm. See, so this is the thing. I'm just like low, low energy. Like this low energy, low mental thing. The feeling to move is just like really kind of hard. And I'll figure it out. But it's like it just seems so unnecessary. I'm like, why? Like what? I think the most destabilizing thing is when I figure out who it was that that really caused this and I'm like what the, why 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 did you do that like none of it makes sense I think I maybe just exposed myself as such an easy target <coughs> that just certain and certain people just couldn't resist um, and although I, like I will get out of it, it's just kind of like, I think that's just rocked my worldview. And I have a heavy responsibility on my shoulders to do with my kids. It's like, I've got to try and like clear the way or like survey the terrain of the, or the landscape for my children. It's like, I, so it doesn't look real good. Um, I think we are in a stage of pretty massive 
um, changes with with things. That's right. This is what I was going to talk about. So this is going to be. Sorry, that's. I really feel off. I don't feel really sharp this morning. Um, I feel a bit in the clouds. I'm just a bit exhausted. I've been perking up later on in the afternoons, but this morning just. Yeah, and I've been doing a lot, so it's, I think it's probably. It's my body's just in overdrive trying to um, repair the damage that I'm stimulating by doing certain things. <coughs> so, this is going to be like a little bit controversial. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll put a print pin in that. So, I'm going to move to the city and pursue. Um, this line of career so whether that be doing music and I'm kind of wanting to do a few different types of music um, so yeah like maybe like a maybe like a just I kind of always want to do like it's a really good pub band so I'll probably do that I wouldn't mind doing some like duo stuff with just piano and some kind of jazzy stuff and some salt, like some soul stuff, more adulty like loungy type things, maybe some recording. And I think I'm going to continue on doing this, but do it as like I'm actually, I'm actually just going to go do a podcast, which I know at this point sounds very kind of like, oh, you're doing a podcast. Oh, yeah, everyone does a fucking podcast. And it's like, I've been doing a podcast the whole time, really. I've been doing a podcast for about eight years. <clears throat> you know, actually, for, I, I did a podcast, which no, no one will have heard. I haven't really shared it anywhere, and I still have the episodes from 11 years ago was the first my first podcast and it was about the plans for my business um and that that like that happened like that all got I achieved everything I said in that thing if, if you squint <laughs> in the podcast like that was so for me I had a plan down and I was acting towards that plan and I did everything it's just very I mean to have the person that you started that with literally attack you and send you to jail for trying to raise awareness about a massive threat it's it's kind of it's I'm completely blocked from that now I'm just like it I look at it I'm like fuck that it's like it's yeah it just feels I just can't even though I could <clears throat> You know, I can jump back in and do that. And sitting there, it's like ten is eleven years worth of work just sitting there. And especially the last couple of years of intense work with the mirrors and things like that, it's just like I can't look at it. Okay, it's 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 like I'm traumatized by it. What I actually thought I might do once I get feel a bit more perky, once I get moving, because um, I'm kind of fenced in in this weird way, like. I've got a lot of problems to sort out and those problems are all hard and then I've got to try and get stability within that. And it's just look like it's, it's not, um, because I didn't, it didn't fail. I put it on hold and it's still basically on hold because I haven't heard any response about why I put it on hold. But what I thought I might do is like I'd suggested things to the previous premier, Ma, Mark McGowan, to do with my business. And I'm going to just now get myself sorted. I'm going to shove this right in his face. I'm going to be like, hey, this is what we should do. You fucked, you made me pause my business. I was, this is where I was. These, this is the technology I wanted to try and develop. And this is the thing with the Aboriginal people and this is this idea, this concept about dance. You just spent all this money on a referendum. It's like, why don't we do this? And I fucking hate you because your party did this vaccine thing. This is a point to heal. And to find this all kind of landed because I saw the bloke doing a 
thing yesterday about yesterday about the Mundabindi Trail, and I found the humanity in him. I'm like, he's just he, he's a mountain biker, and I'd had a little glimpse before. He had a, has a property down south that seems to be doing some certain things, and I'm like, I'm like, why am I? Why is there this, this hatred? Why is there this warring thing in me? Obviously, you know, it's pretty clear why there was, but. If I'm going to go and live in this city, if I'm going to go and try and do music in this city, if I'm going to raise my children in this city, I'm going to, I'm not going to do that under some forever type war situation with this guy who just kind of jumped into the seat of the person that did it. And it's like, so I'm just going to go there and I'll document that. I'm going to go, I might phone him. I don't, I might rock up and I'll be like, listen, this is what I want to do. I want to, can we get funding? Because I'm exa- I'll be like, I'm exhausted. You've you burnt me out because I had to I had to war with you regarding this vaccine thing because of this this and this and this. These are my reasons for doing that. I had this on the table as a West Australian company, as a small business, family business in Western Australia, in a trade background. I come from all the things. It's like I want if you want to go and do these projects and all this stuff. It's like here's one right here. Let's use our sun and mirrors to turn sand that we have into glass. Let's figure out how to do it. You know what I mean? And, and play the fucking, um, play their game. It's like, if I'm going to be here, if they, if they want to go that way, if they want to make government things that, um, have government, like that's their ideology. I'm, I'm removing myself from that now because I'm not going to compete as a capitalist, small capitalist, in a system that's constantly going that way. You can't do it. So I don't have any interest in being in construction anymore. And it, like, there aren't, I mean, unless they want to give me a government job being a singer and a performer and whatever, like, I'll do that. I'll go and sing in retirement villages. Why don't you pay me to do that? But I'm not going to compete in business anymore with the government because that's insane. That's just stupid. Because I'm already competing with gigantic businesses. And if I've got to compete with the government as well, it's like, nah, let's not do that. So considering government was one of my schools, was, was one of my biggest buyers of the mirrors. And we can just, we can push in hard. If we make these things and go, right, this is the thing, this is nationally the thing for schools. This is it. This is a school product. We're going to make it here. We're going to make it somehow in cooperation with Aboriginals as a national thing to go and spread this thing of dance throughout all the schools in the nation. We had a thing when we were kids where they did this clapstick thing. It's the same. It's the same. See it all connecting there? And then we get university, whoever it is. I don't know if we've got the CSIRO anymore. Who knows? But let's do a trial and let's get this thing going where in theory we can do the theory of like, hey, can we make glass with the sun? Hey, can we do it? Can we do it scientifically? Can we do it educationally? Can we do it that way? Um, and, you know, with the hope that we can somehow turn our sun and our sand into mirrors that go around the world from Perth, from WA, with the, you know, has Roger Cook's government got got the fucking the balls to try something like this has it got the thing to put away the hatchet <clears throat> started by his predecessor who do, do you know what I mean it, like can we can we shake hands across the fence and go look I'm not fully down with a lot of your thing and just so you know you have put me out of business your policies have put me out of business but if this is the way the people are wanting to go right now or this is the way government you are in charge so it's like you know what I mean like as long as I get I think it's like I've I'm showing how I've been affected by these things how I've fallen off the perch how I took the initiative to do to go and build things and try things and attempt things with my own money and my own resources and my own soul and that brought into conflict everything in my life my my family, my reputation, my children, my my thing that I loved and wanted to do 
<clears throat> everything came into conflict with that. And so if, if I have a place in that, in your system, if there's a place for someone like that, do you know what I mean? I'll do that. Because I, I, I'm just like, I don't work. I'm pissed off because I took the initiative and did it on my own and then, you know, you basically made that impossible. So that's why I'm pissed off. But it's like, hey, I, at the end of the day, if I can just do what I'm trying to do, I'll do it however. If I've got to do it with the Labor Party, I'll do it with the Labor Party. Um, if I've got to do it with big business, I'll do it with business. Right now, it's like if I've got to do it with China or Russia, I'll do it with China or Russia. It's got to happen. We have to have these things worked on and I'm not going to be gate kept out by industries that are just protecting their own, you know, prehistoric methods and, and prehistoric ideology. This, this country has a precedent of being on the cutting edge of, of practical scientific endeavours and this is what this is. And it's a whole package. It's like you can see it's it's like that's and that's not just like that doesn't just appear in my brain that's years and years of work and years and years of work while I was defending my right so it's like this is this is kind of a moment of truth it's like hey this is going to work this is a really great concept this is a national thing and then and then very quickly from that potentially a worldwide thing <clears throat> let's put the labor party to the test it, it will make jobs it will make jobs for aboriginal people it will, um, it does everything you're saying. It just does it in a, in an enterprising way. Whereas what I see from the Labor Party is continuously just, you're absorbing things that are already there um, and just absorbing them into government and kind of providing this thing. It doesn't work like that. Let's see if your system can can compete with the big boys. Let's see. I mean, China is the example. China does that. That's what China does. Okay, so if we're going to be competing with China, so let's, let's fucking play the China game. But you need someone like me who was willing and did put in all that work for nothing, for absolutely nothing, just for the, for the hope of doing it. And see, that's like, you're buying that work. You're buying all that work that I put in with self-interest. It's like, no one is going to do that in a government position that's guaranteed. Part of it is the fact that, you, that you're, you're warring and you're scrambling. That's what gives you the, the drive to do it. That's what pushed this thing to crank to its highest momentum, its highest RPM to get to this concept, which I think you can agree is, is a beautiful idea. It's a beautiful idea if it's just mirrors, just for Aboriginal people, just nationally, just in schools, to connect the nation under dance, which is, a, hey, guess what? That's what the Prime, Prime Minister just said the other day. He said, let's, the voice didn't go through, that was a thing, let's see if we can do it a different way. This is how you do it. You do it on their grounds, you do it on dance. And then we have a chance to communicate between each other. And in the process, isn't it amazing if we can use that as a mechanism to um, to revolutionise an incredibly energy-consuming industry and bring it home, bring it to Australia. So it's like by the end of this, it's like when anyone thinks about Australia, they'll think about glass straight away. They're just like, yes, where does glass come from? It comes from Australia. How do they make it? They make it with the sun. How did that start? Well, this, this crazy fucking dude came up with this idea to make dance mirrors with the Aboriginal people and use those mirrors to reflect the sun, to melt the sand, to make the glass that we ship around the world now and that's where we live. <clears throat> and it just becomes... Uh, it, it's like... That's, that's the world I want to live in. And that's the world I'm not going to budge on, on that trajectory. And we can, it's like, we can do this at a scale that isn't major. We can test the theory. 
we can do the maths. This is what we have universities for. This is what we have, you know, development things for. Um, let's do the let's do the science. Let's trust the science. Let's do the physics. Let's do the equations. Let's figure it out. Like I know we've got the sand. I know we've got the sun. I know we've got the labor force. I know we've got the the shipping. If we've got shipping, you know. It's no different us sending the sand and the coal to us just sending the glass because we're still going to be buying back. And this is like a thing. It's like China might not... Um, they don't have as much sun. They don't have... I don't think they have as much sand. I don't know. But And they're having massive problems with pollution. So it's like, let's, let's figure that out. China can take the hit on the glass, which is kind of failing anyway because I think demand is changing. It's Yeah, it's like... Thank you, China, for, for providing that product for us. And you still will continue to. Like this is, you know, this this is a there is a period of time. What's the what's the turnaround for this? Like ten years minimum, five years, if we really push it. If it's possible, let's do the maths and let's do the science first. But I think China can absorb that um, that transition away from production of commodity-based thing into, you know, whatever they're going to progress into. I'm not, I'm not there talking to China. I don't know how much this industry is propping up China. <clears throat> but let's... If this is going this way, if the world order is changing... Let's, let's do the maths and let's figure out where we can be as, as a country. Let's use our resources and innovation to position in the world away from just like... Because it's like the local demand just doesn't make sense. It, it doesn't. That's why it's happening. That's why we're getting these weird patterns. Um, and the the innovation cost we can see this with Andrew Andrew Forrest right now it's like this it's crazy to do so let's figure out a way to do it and let's not um, let's use everything we've got in it let's use the fact that we have we are we are striving to set the bar for relations between um, <laughs> European <laughs> Europeans and, and First Nations if you, I don't know I don't know how to politically correct say that but let's let's set the bar and let's do it like this and then let's send that message nationally with a product that is um, it, it's just it's the whole image, it's, it's like we're selling a black mirror to take Aboriginal culture and use it as a tool, dance and this thing as a tool to communicate between our things, to, to heal, to, to do the work that's required there, to unify um, and understand each other. And then let's send that message with the product around the world and then let's use that product to um because and it's not it's not the product it's like yeah you can go and get a mirror from the bloke there 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 or you can get one of these and this then you're tied into this thing you're tied into this this idea this concept the fact it's a black mirror the fact that it's got the triangle there the same as the pink floyd's dark side of the moon not the same as the you know what I mean? It's up to the prism. The side of a mirror is technically a prism if you look at it, which is light, which is we're turning white light into a rainbow. It's all the things. We get out of this ideology this that has overtaken these very ancient concepts and we get back to the source of it. We use the reflection of light, the reflection of humanity as the, at an appropriate size in a real way, an authentic way to counteract the damage done by these, by the adaptation and implica, imp, 
implicate uh, any, any, the adaptation and infiltration by these devices, which will that we will get there. But let let's use this as a bridge to um, to not lose contact with with our humanity. And I think that's there is no better way. It's like the, when you look at a mirror, there's a human there. That's a human. You know, when someone rehearses in front of a mirror and then performs to people to try and show what's inside their soul, that's a human. And these environments just don't work for that. Um, any type of real depth to do with performance art or performance of music or something like that requires vulnerability and risk and the algorithms and basically the just the general use of these environments hasn't um hasn't identified that yet it, it will it does in certain points if it's pushed but if it's not pushed it's being lost and that i just might it's my belief that a lot of these things would never be lost in person to person so um yeah <clears throat> so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to go and have a chat to roger cook on on non-combative terms you know what I mean I'm, I've been in a position that's um, not great and so I've used whatever I can and I've tried to maintain like a thing if I see something he does that I agree with I say that's good if I see something I don't I say that's that's not good I do it in a very straightforward manner which I, I don't know I, I, I was never intending on doing anything like this I still don't I have no intention of being in politics. I'm not made for politics. I'm a performer, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a business person. But if I've got to go into business with the, with the government to make the things that I want to see in the world happen, it's like, I'll do that. I'll do whatever I need to do. And it's beyond that kind of, um, yeah, it's beyond the point of, oh, I'm going to stay true and be the pioneer fucking entrepreneur because it's like, I can't. I can't do that. There's no way to do it. There's also no way I want to stay in this, this conflict mode anyway. It's, it's terrible. It's taxing. I don't want to look at my city as some vulnerable piece of land. I want to look at it as a unified, strong piece, you know, a strong kind of beautiful place. There's certain parts about the city that I love. I see a vision for the city that is that sets itself apart from other cities. We are we're on the opposite, you know, we're just this lonely little city in the middle of nowhere. Let's let's use that, um, but let's let's not degrade ourselves. Let's let's lift ourselves up to a point in the world that we can be proud of. And I think these are the areas. It doesn't always have to be cutting edge technology. Sometimes it can be cutting edge ideas, cutting edge concepts that go back and instead of trying to progress into some, some ever increasing technical utopia, let's, let's with, a, with a giant hammer, go through and refine aspects that, that have been difficult and have been left behind. And let's do it in an interesting way. You know, we, we saw the reaction of the referendum. It was a huge reaction because it's like, hey, because we're losing something with it. Like that's there, that's working. Let's not fuck with it, right? So you, I see you're trying to do the right thing, but it's like everyone kind of knows. It's like, well, that thing's kind of built on that. It's this. So what? Let's let's use something else and try and get a, a similar effect. Um, and the other benefits are crazy as well. It's like dance, dance is, I've, I've played like pretty high level field hockey. I was an opening fast bowler. I've surfed, I've bodyboarded, I've cycled, I've, um, done everything. I do this acrobatic stuff. It's like dance. There is nothing that comes near it for, for fitness, for edge, like for mobility, for, um, coordination, for like bone strength and things. It's like nothing comes close to it just on a physical thing. And we're having huge issues with that. So let's do that. 
and then the cultural thing is massive. The, um, yeah, Let, let's do it. Let's do it. If I've got to go talk to Rog, I'll talk to Rog. If you, if you do listen to this, I get a weird feeling that some of this gets skimmed. I could, I could be paranoid, but I don't know. I get a, I get a little feeling that this gets observed. Um, and so if that is the case, if, if either Rog watches this directly or if he in, indirectly gets, gets a temperature level from the, from whatever I'm at, I don't really know, or whether I'm just delusional. Um, I think the message would be, I'm a business person. I will always meet anyone who wishes to on an even level uh, with respect. I do not um, respond well to concentrated attacks by entities that remain anonymous. Like if anybody, anyone who, who wishes to at any point, I always will meet them on the level with nothing, everything else past is not present. I'm, I will meet you eye to eye, but face to face, man to man. Um, with an understanding that you have been doing a job that I don't understand. And I think that's what, that's what I saw with the, with the riding. It's like, I'll go for a ride with, if you want, it seems a bit much, but I'm just basically saying, it's like, I'm not going, I don't, I'm trying to get something done. And so I'm learning the environment, I'm experimenting with the environment, I'm trying different things, I'm, I am reactive sometimes, I'm, I, I test and I prod and I poke and I see where I can go, that's what I do, that's, that's who I am. This is what you can't get really through government funded projects. This is, this is my main thing to do with some of the ideology that the Labour Party has. It's like you're not gonna get me, you're just not. You might think you are, but you're not going to because these the, someone like me is like forged from bullshit because it's a thousand fucking interactions of bullshit it's just constantly that it's, it's constant self-assuredness that you're like you, everyone's like you shouldn't be doing that it's like fuck off I'll show you and that's that comes with a harshness that I can understand is perhaps threatening or perhaps un welcoming I don't know what it is but it's like I had to I had to build this I built this when I was 20 when I was getting thrown onto jobs to instruct you know a bunch of people that were twice my age into how to get these jobs done and I was thrown into that environment thrown into and thrown into that environment um, in a way where we were you know we were very proud of what we were doing. We weren't just a mem we weren't just a member of staff. We were we were being built into or I, this is how I can say I was being built into a leader, into someone who could go in and finish a project. The amount of projects I've gone on to where the where the say the contractors left because they're just a bunch of dodgy guys that didn't know what they were doing and it's like you you piece together their garbage and fix it. That's what I've done. Um, yeah, as a 20-year-old, 22-year-old, trying to get 40-year-olds to listen to you, it's like, that's what I've done my entire life as a, you know, forging a business out of nowhere and being ambitious enough to try and, try and make that play to make it a national brand. It's like, yeah, that's what I do. And because of the interactions I've had, to do with government policy. It's like, you, you've, you've affected me so much that you've now brought yourself into the thing. It's like, you're gonna have to have this conversation um, because that's who I am. I don't stop, I don't surrender. I don't take no for an answer. I will get this through however I can and 
rather than looking at that as a challenge, it's like, look at that as a fucking massive resource that you've got sitting in your very state that you've ignored for two years, that has been making these valid um, comments on these technologies, on our, the way our society's going for, <clears throat> for a decade. That has, you know, that has raised, I've got two teenagers, three children, four children, whichever way you want to look at it, um, built in these environments, um, performed in these environments. I've got real firsthand experience throughout the progression period and I know what's wrong and I know what's right. Um, and I want to get out of this this constant feeling of escalation towards potential, you know what I mean, like different things. But it's like, from my position, I can't help but see... It's, it's, from, it's from being ignored. You, you in government, it's, you're going to have to really be careful with this because these, these networks, these social networks, they are a two-way street. And you can't just go into them with the same um, the same confidence that you can just not respond. It's like your job is to respond. You need to work out strategies to do that. Because every time if most people aren't gonna do anything, so but you not responding is amplifying whatever it is. Now with me, you've got someone who's not an extremist. I'm passionate, so I, I'm showing you. I'm like, hey, hey, still getting ignored. When I get something like this, and but then I get a comment from the police that arrests me for fucking thing, it's like, oh, the state police. It's like, okay, I still haven't had any interaction with the state police. If I'm getting spied on by the state police, the least they could do is come and talk to me. I had a, I've had that every level of government down to the Shire. The Shire tries to spray weeds on my thing and I have a, have a go at the person doing it, fair enough. And then I make a video to respond it to the Shire. It's like, never heard from the Shire. That's, that's not how we are as Australians. Um, and you will just create extremist groups. Me not being one of them. I'm an extremist individual trying to do a thing that requires this mentality. You're not going to, I think by now, you know that I'm not plotting any fucking terrorist activity because it's not who I am. I'll leave, I'll, walk, I'll either walk off into the bush or sail my boat to fucking Norway. I'm not going to participate in anything to destroy a place. I only want to do things to build it up. But if I get ignored, then you're losing that resource. If you ignore other people, if you ignore the 20 year old that put something together, you can't just pick and choose something that suits your, your campaign model. You have to start incorporating feedback on these networks as part of government policy. Because of course you do. They're the eyes and ears of the places around you. We're not going to be in a place, it's like people just aren't going to, people that are used to, especially, so take me, I'm not a great example, but say someone who's like different on an influencer level, they've, they've, they've got some portion of people that they're influencing consistent, consistently. They're not ever gonna run for politics because they're already winning there. So you need, to, you need to start listening to their voice in the way that they're going to do it. And that we need to rebuild that system. And if you don't, you just push people out. And you just bring the government into like, people just trust it less and less and less. That's what we can see now. No one trusts the government. You get, I mean, look at your, the, the funniest thing is, you, you're still ignoring me. Um, and you have no interaction on your, on your, page so it's only me that looks really weird like think about that the optics of that look really weird you're kind of being like hey we don't have to answer but it's just me it's, it's not obviously just me but there's not a lot and there's not a lot of consistent people there and I'll just keep doing that do you know what I mean and then what is that they'll be like why is this one guy having an interaction that's not being responded to that looks bad I'll just keep playing that game but I don't want to. And so, yeah, that's anyway, that's, that's that. I'm going to get things going, sit face to face with that. 
repair all that damage because I I don't fucking do you know what I mean? I I'm not built for for politics like that. I don't want to be stuck in this this feeling of conflict. I fucking hate it. But yeah, so I might do that, and I'm going to do a podcast. I'm going to set up a space, do a podcast, do a, um, try and do a daily thing and just and interview people that are interesting and do it in my way and ask the hard questions and do, yeah, my version of a breakfast radio station, I suppose. Um... And it's exciting. And there's, there's a point there where I kind of go, listen, I, the way my worldview, if I look at this now that I've made a decision, now that I'm getting out of this, this hole that I fell into or was pushed into, when I map that out, I go, I like that. I like that idea. That's what I want to be doing. Um, and so I don't think anything really, yeah, like even these, these, these things have been traumatic. They haven't been great. I, you know, they've been shocking. I've always kept some point of being like almost like a neutral observer going like, well, I trust, I trust whatever's happening, even though this sucks and it's crazy. And it's like, I think jail was just the worst jail was just, cause I wasn't there it's very different if you if, if I was speeding and I ran you know I drove through someone's wall and fucking ended up in jail it's like I'd know I'm there for a reason I understand that I spent a lot of time in like detention as a kid this wasn't the same this was like this was like I'm criticising government and I've ended up in jail and I'm actually doing what I believe to be the like the most important work I'm doing for my family and it's like I'm in and I'm in jail and I've had no response that was a very different thing that was that was yeah that just I felt powerless um and that whether that see this is where I get to this is and this is what I'll look you in the eye and I'll go listen whether that was an accident, whether that was just a convenient series of events that ended up there, or whether that was orchestrated, it doesn't matter. It still felt the same. I had no way of differentiating what that was. And it's not beyond the realms of possibility that put pressure or something like that may have been placed on certain individuals to elicit that response. And until I got, basically, until I got the suspended sentence, I wasn't really sure. Um, that And that is what happens when you ignore someone for two years with accurate questioning and accurate criticism of your structure. That's the position you're putting people in. And you're going to make extremists and we're not going to be able to deal with them. Um, and most actual extremists they're not going to be sitting there and, and openly telling you what they're doing. I think that's the main thing. I did that on purpose. I'm like, hey, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. This is what I'm doing. I'm constantly telling you what I'm doing. I'm even telling you now. It's like, prepare because I'm going to ring you. I'm going to ring you. I'm probably going to come down and talk to you. I'm going to, this, this is going to happen. This is coming to break the fourth wall. It's like, I'm coming. I have every right to. You know what I mean? I'm a West Australian business person. I've paid tax. I I've, I've, uh, have relative experience. I have a genuine um, thing to present to you. And I did present it to your predecessor. And I have presented it to you online. But it's like online doesn't work. So you're talking about all this censorship. It's like you've, you've already started censoring online, haven't you? Let's talk about anti-censorship. Let's talk about fucking actually answering questions and comments. And I understand it's there are bullshit. There's a lot of bullshit. It's not great. It's not a great thing, but it's like... It, it, I look at your pages every day and I'm like, it would take one... Like, to make comment on some of these comments, it would take an hour. 
How, or not even. There's no way. It's like there's there's like 20 questions on there. You can make some type of comment on every single one of those questions. We're not filtering everything through the media anymore. It's just it's not going to happen. Just have have a junior staff member. No, well that's not great, but just, it's, it's like just if they're really tricky say this is a really tricky one we don't know if they're obvious just say well this is the thing give us some indication you know what i mean take the fucking time to do it i understand that technology is confronting it's intimidating it's it's like you you may i don't know how old you are Rog, you positioned yourself to be there. You've hit your point, right? I, I don't know whether you ever had Prime Minister in, in your mind or whether Premier was just your point, but that that is apparent to me. I'm like, well, that's where he wanted to be. It, and it's like, I'm, I'm happy for you. I'm like, okay, cool. This is your chance. This is your time. But this time, your time is landing when this technological change is happening. And so... So use that. Be the person who does that. Don't be the last person who didn't. Be the first person who does. And that's what I'm saying. It's like I'm, I am harsh and I am relentless and I am just going to keep there. But it's like, believe it or not, it's not all, this isn't all attacking. I'm literally, tr- I'm reaching up and, and I try and do it with a level of respect, but I have been completely fucking trodden on. So either I'm very, you know, I'm, I have some hostility, but I'm like, listen, listen to me, trust me. Listen to me because then the state gets better. And when the state gets better, the country gets better. And when the country gets better, everyone gets better. And that's, yeah, that's where I'm going to be. And just don't fuck with someone who's going to sit and talk to their phone for an hour every morning. Like, because this is, like, I'm not going to be a politician, but, so I'm going to be whatever I am, a performer or a, a commentator or a, a musician. Like, that's what I do. I kind of observe the world and things and I process it either in this very just rational, straightforward way, or I kind of condense it into an emotional way and I project that with singing with my voice. But this is what I do. And now I'm finally getting to a point where I, I'm confident to stand behind it. And and just to be honest, it's like, I don't want to be in politics. That's not what I'm, it's not who I am. In a weird way, it's like, I don't want to be in business. I'm not a good um, like manager like of that type of thing. I'm just not. I really am not. I've never really said that I am. I'm a fucking entrepreneur and I'm an innovator and I'm a... I can like warrior of getting shit done. I get, I focus, I lock in and I don't stop until I get that fucking ball in the goal. Um, and I'm doing it in an av- in a, in a space, in a place and a time that you don't understand all that well. And so although it may look like it's like, you may get to the confidence of like, well, I've hit this position. I'm on top of the state. I'm this. It's like, don't, do not get it wrong that someone like me can't knock you off that and make you look like a fool. And that's not what I want to do. I don't want our government to look foolish. I want our government to appear strong, to appear like current, to appear like functional. Because of, um, and a government that appears functional and where the citizens of the country or the state have faith in the functionality of that government, then we can progress not by pushing some image of a future that is built on do you know what I mean just perception but by progressing just just from basic first principles like our government runs like a fucking well-oiled machine it's like if we get this person here there's there's the lower level you know uh, things that people are discussing and that goes quickly to here and then that goes quickly to here we form policy based on that and then we form up here and then the and then the premier sitting on the top gets to steer the ship But that's not what I see right now. I see a bureaucratic, corporate-esque ramble of just, of like, yeah, 
like corporate kind of, I don't know. Like you just look like a bunch of middle-aged kind of like wankers running around playing fucking politics. And it's like, we're sick of it. We're fucking sick of it. That's a, that's a machine. Polit politics should act like an army to, to balance with the actual army. Um, and at the moment it's acting like some weird wanky fucking dinner party or something like that or, or, it's like come on let's get this fucking thing going how long do I really have to sit there and say hey I think you should incorporate some type of digital feedback into policy making because it's massively efficient you're not still using homing pigeons and fucking smoke signals to send messages it's it's it's, it's not hard. It's like, let's get it going. You don't have a good idea. When you, do, when you don't give feedback that you're observing the general people, the population, and then, in, and, you know, and going with what their fucking concerns are, you're just, you're destroying the perception of government daily. And then when that happens, that creates a vacuum, and then you're going to get people that push in there. And that's not what I want. I support, I've made it very clear, I support the monarchy. The monarchy sits on top of our federal government. The federal government sits on top of our state government. So my point is I don't want a challenge on the monarchy, which if we have a referendum about becoming a republic, it's like that's where you'll meet me head to head and I will just be relentless. And I will show how incompetent you are. And that is what I'm doing now. But if we put that way off in the future, and that's not your battle. That's not Roger Cook. You're, you're not going to make that battle. Albanese, you're not going to make that battle. That battle, you've just lost a lot of ground in that battle by kind of showing your cards too early. So I'm still there. I'm there. But now let's just put that aside. Let's, let's take back unity under that structure that already exists. That's where we all are. Do we all agree? Are we all in agreement that that's where we are? So if that's the case, then let's work on restructuring. Not, not in anything structural, not like, you know, not like a revolution of communism or something like that. Let's refine the structure that we already have and find where we can optimise, find where we can lose dead weight, find where we can streamline, find where we can put in checks and balances, all these things, and let's get that going. This should be a period of refinement globally, and that's what I'm going to probably talk about all year, I think. It's, it's refinement over progress. And it is, it is the... It, it is the most important thing and the thing that gets celebrated the least. And... It's not glamorous. It's not, sorry, it's not as glamorous. It's not as exciting. It's not as, there's not as much momentum. But for anyone who, <sighs> so it overheated, shows the environment I'm in. It's very hot in here. It's not pleasant. This is where I've been living. This is how I make this stand. It's why my phone constantly keeps dying. But what I was going to say is whoever takes up this mantle of this refinement process, they will, they will concrete themselves in the history books in a way that will be respected and appreciated for the for however long into the future we can get which we might not get if we don't do that so there has never been a more important um concept than this refinement process and it needs to be this is how we do it by example and this is what i want my project to to do and that's why I'm going to reach across the fence of that has been very combative try and find unified ground and and make this claim that let's do this let's set by example let's show what should have been done by the tech companies let's show what should have been done by other countries and let's forge a path that is of of the future that is stable secure by design not by enforcement thank you